Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 393 of Mountain Blade Warband, and what's this guy? Alagur. Okay, so we have a brewery here. Uh, so this is 393 of Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, we are we have been carrying a lot of stuff uh, around primary grains Wow these are now expensive ooh even more whoa and no grains here right oh uh, grains is how much is grains 49 bucks okay uh so oh before we do that i just want to check to see if to see how the grains are how much the grains are here so it's about 50 dollars 50 dinars so we brought a bunch of grains with us so hopefully this will let's check our uh master brewer see uh yeah we can ale is worth 228 while the quantity of grain is, is 46 and labor is 50 uh, means theoretically we make 132 very very little so okay but we have brought you a lot of grain and wow yes we brought him we're bringing him a lot of grain uh one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I think it's okay he should be close to maxed out let us yeah let's max him out because we're carrying a lot of grain uh yeah oh why do these guys why do our troops chew through the grains in you know they don't eat from one sack they eat from all sacks that's okay uh Ooh, we can sell we can sell dates here for 120 okay let's go to the marketplace uh, trade with a goods merchant how much is the no that was a <laughs> I gave me a quick so if they're selling pork here so that means they should have uh, hides in the outlying villages Okay, we have lightened our load. Uh, this one guy, these guys weigh 10 pounds. So that's good. Wow, that's 60 pounds. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see the arms merchant. What do they have? Oh, we have another one of these. Thick steel shield. And what is that bow? Strong bow. Uh, arrows? Steel bolts? No. Uh large bag of arrows no we don't need we don't we want large bag of crooked arrows or the other ones uh piercing or whatever uh okay uh let's head back uh we still control this town right uh manage this town uh okay let's leave now that we are lighter, I saw a bunch of deserters just to the south of us. Uh, like right here. So what's our speed? 6.8? 6 6.9? Five point five, yeah. Two 
Charge the enemy. Okay, we should get some experience here. And hopefully with... Oh, knocked unconscious? I really knew I have to control my horse. Really have to learn how to control my horse. Yeah, those are runners. I don't think we'll catch up with those guys. Stupid me. <sighs> yeah, we have to give all of those guys up. Because I did not put those guys in prison. Man. That is so idiotic. <laughs> What's the point of running after those guys? And then we just let them go again. And I did not see any... I did not see any, what do you call this, uh, bandit layers around here. We just wasted that. Oh, that's another 50 right there. Okay. Uh, anybody in a tavern? Wandering troubadour. Let us go to the garrison. See? Man, what a waste. Uh, okay, let's go to the marketplace, uh, trade with the goods. How much is this one? 62. So the fact that that Dark Cuba is selling, uh, what do you call it, is selling uh, grapes means that maybe that's something we can invest in. Okay, let's go after these guys. That guy's 51 at traveling at six. Uh, let's go after these guys. You know, there's got to be a bandit lair around here. And we're not seeing it. Uh, we have to be close enough to it to be a, a for it to pop up. Because these guys are large. There are large numbers of bandits around. So that's... That has... I attribute that to the... I assume that to have large bandit bands like this like these, uh, there has to be a, a bandit lair. Wow, our troops are smoking. <laughs> that looks like dust. over to this side. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on. So, large numbers of troops, I think they also give us a positive positive uh, we gained some renown out of that one. That stupid horse.
<laughs> okay. Oh, 22 wounded only. Oh. Yeah, we'll let those guys go. Uh. Okay, let's return to Dark Cuba. Or let's pass by no, uh let's yeah, let's pass by Sectum. Six people. Huh. We're doing much better. In the past, we would have just melted. Also, uh, well, we have a lot of armor on. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, 228. No, we're not going to buy that. 28 bucks. No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? Let's leave. And then we can pass by Shiba Zoomer. I think I want to go to Nara to drop off the hides that we picked up. There's just a lot of, uh, ooh, like this. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, bandits around. Uh, okay, let's go to manage our Go to the marketplace. Arms merchant. Oh, I forgot to check on. Uh... Uh, yeah, let's get this. I think one of our people will need it. This is a strongbow, oh, only three. Salt this one sixty eight no. Um, okay, let's leave. Who among our party members? Uh, does Artemer have a good? Oh, sh he has a good shield. Uh, Marnid, how about Lesolit? Yep, he has good shield. Uh, Marnid. Okay. Uh, this one is better. And then how about Jeremus? Oh, he has a great shield. Okay. Uh, how about uh, one of the ladies? Those are Aymira? Why Mira? This is 440. As I guess this one is 457. Uh, 21 resistance. This one is... Uh, one resistance. Okay, uh, this is a better shield. Okay, uh... Uh, 
Where are the bad guys? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, we don't have those guys, right? Yeah. Look at these guys. There's so many of these guys. 21. 51. Let's go after the 51. Wow, there's just so many of them. There's got to be a bandit uh, hideout somewhere here. Charge the enemy. way yeah let's not run after those runners I don't think we'll catch up to them they'll get to the zone line very quick not all these horses but uh, you know what we'll only get one or two horse horses out of all this fight thirty four wounded yes Capture all. You know, we never went, uh, make, made, made our way to Amarad. I think we're backtracking if we do so. Uh, let's not go to Amarad. Let's go to, uh, who are these guys? You know what? Let's come to Dark Cuba. Jeez. There's just so many of them. Jared's Nordic. Okay. Head back. Let's go to the garrison. Drop off the desert bandits. Oh, there are now 70 of them. Uh, okay, let's leave. I thought I saw somebody, a number right over here. That's 3.2. Okay, let's go to Shiba Zumir. See, all of these caravans are actually threatened by all those roving bandits. 21 date fruit. Okay, we can buy that. That's too expensive. That's too expensive. Too expensive. Pottery, maybe? Yes. Oh, uh, we might be running out of food. Okay, uh, leave. Oh, these are caravans. Uh, 
Uh huh. So let's come to qual qual yut. So it does make sense that even when we are, even if we control all of call radia, you know, in reality, assuming even if we do so, so to manage our kingdom, we still have to ride on horseback and clear out all these nests of uh, bandit layers that we, you know, that kind of spawn over time. Uh, we'll buy this. Uh, can they handle salt? Yeah, let's sell salt. Let's leave. Uh, not only do we uh, destroy, uh, we uh, look for or pay attention or look for bandit nests. Also, by going through the villages, we also can break up uh, villages that are being looted by uh, bandits. So, wow, 20, 20, 54, 144. The grain is not very expensive, but uh, I don't think we want to do that. Uh, huh. Okay, let's leave. So when we come across, uh, yeah, uh, bandits molesting villages, that also improves the, uh, breaks up the raiding by bandits, and therefore it improves the villages' uh, potential or life. Uh, let's not buy too many. I, you know, it's not very profitable. The uh, pottery itself. Um, and also, um, people don't buy a lot of them. I mean, when we, you know, once we sell something, automatically the market gets depressed a bit. And uh, pottery is one of those things. Ooh. Uh, because it's not heavily needed. People do need pots at that time. You know, during the medieval ages, of course, pottery... Uh, is good for food storage and stuff like that but people you know uh, unlike food which you consume all the time uh, pots do break but they are not broken every time okay so dates dates is one of the things also that's kind of hard to sell uh, let's buy them okay um, Lord Sardin uh, I don't think we have invested in Sharis either. Uh, there's fighting here. Oh, Lord Sordon is helping out, so that's okay. Uh, let's come to Sharis. Oh, we have a wine press here also. I did not realize. Ouch. Okay. Uh huh. Eight, eight, eight. Fruits is fifty-five. Fish. Huh, arms. What's this? Masterwork heavy crossbow. Requires 13 strength. Cannot be used on horseback. Ah. Ah. I was thinking of giving that to Masterwork longbow. How about armor? Male with surcoat. 49 lordly gauntlets 13 i think that's what we have 10 wow 22000 no forget it okay how about horses 
Heavy War Horse. Okay, let's head back. Uh, move your court here. No. Uh, wine press. No. I was looking for... Uh, s hoping that we will come across... Come across, what do you call this? Uh, grapes. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Um, let's go to the garrison. How big is our garrison here? I can't. Uh, I wish we can. We we can look at it without having to go out of town. Uh, what's the garrison size? Three hundred fifty-one. Okay, that's enough. Let's come to Ain Asandi, Hawaha, Garmal. Yeah, like this. We can buy this and go back to our wine press in Shariz. Hopefully, we'll get there within the same day, <laughs> so it the grapes will not get eaten. Those grapes look so tempting. See how much did it cost? Uh, grapes needed to manufacture cost 268. So the top line of 612 is actually very good. Let's check the inventory. Yes, nothing left. And hopefully we did not touch the grape. Yes, yeah, so we did not touch the grapes. Okay. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, let's go to the marketplace. Sometimes we miss something here. We did not. Okay. Uh, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.